vain for your love I'll give my dignity oh I'll bleed for your love nothing can take the place of your love share for you why does it have to have me so consumed can't do this anymore why does it have to hurt tears of love how many more do I have to share for you Come here. <clears throat> Dapo, you know, your insolence is getting out of hand. I mean, you took this girl to your room to make a phone call and I am seated here? Huh? It's all right. Your, your pocket money will be cut by 50%. Eh? Uh, uh, but Dad, why now? What have I done again? I honestly don't get why. You and Dapo are always acting as if you're rivals. Mimi! Oh. Mayweather is around. Who? You know now. Your boyfriend. Coward. <laughs> Kenny, I love you. And I want to make us work. I won't let desperation push me into marriage. It's not desperation. It's all swallowing our pride and making our relationships work. By accepting a potential wife bitter is swallowing your pride? You guys are not even married yet. Yet he promotes you this hard. He will bring out a gun once he gets married. thousand and one girls out there at the bus stop and it was you he singled out to give a lift I swear I don't know him you don't know him and you enter this car I mean you weren't even afraid of being abducted or that he could have been a spirit a ritual killer for God's sake and the guy took the Thanks to pick you and drop you right in front of your house. And you say you don't know him. Come on, fella, come on. See, I, I don't know what I would do to make you believe I don't know him. All right. You have given a solution to that riddle now. You say you don't know what to do, right? Yes. Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to swear an oath. Jesus! Yes. Leave him out of this for now. I can't do it, oh. It's against my religion. I'm a Christian, too, Bella. It's my religion, too. I won't do it. I'm back! Mm -hmm. 
some goodies. All thanks to Kenne. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Let me guess. He took you guys out for shopping, but you paid for the goods, right? <laughs> what an interesting guy he is. What is that, IJ? IJ, uh, uh, give her a break now. Uh -uh. No one is talking about the hunky bodyguard boyfriend of yours who dumped you for the call girl. Mm. Uh, and Mimi has been there for you through your hard times. She didn't condemn you for falling so cheaply for him. That's my point exactly. <laughs> this is Mimi's downtime and I'm trying to be there for her. <laughs> I just don't want you to fall into the wrong hands. That guy is not it. IJ, the fact that Kenne made one mistake doesn't give you a reason to dislike him, hate him, or talk about him like that. Okay. Maybe you should use my strategy in your next relationship. We are not getting any older, and we're no longer in our prime. Mm -hmm. And men don't like old women. I guess that's why Mr. Bodyguard went for a girl in her prime. Hey, that's enough, Madam S.U. You were the former holy persons. You don't find correct church brother Mary, eh? If you ask me, there's a lot of fraud in the church. Hmm. The Lord is working. You just don't believe. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The Lord has finally done it for me. Hey, don't want, don't want, don't want. <laughs> Don't just swear with your mouth. I'm not even saying swear whether you have cheated on me or not. All I'm saying, let's swear an oath of allegiance. Oath of togetherness forever. You know, marriage the indigenous way. That way, I'll have a rest of mind. Are you saying I am not giving you rest of mind. Sort of, honey pie. Sort of. I mean, I know lots of men are going after you because of your beauty and I don't have what they have to take care of you the way I should. Don't say that. I saw you. I loved you. I chose you. How? I believe in you and not money. How nice. How nice, but when temptation comes, you begin to play a different tune. So they buy. When we say an oath of allegiance, it will show me your loyalty to me. That way, even if I find a man lying on top of you, it will mean nothing to me. Really. <sighs> if that is the case, I'll do it. Yeah. But on one condition. I'm all ears, darling. I can't do anything for you right now. Good. You will never Ask me to go with you to any other list or anything like that ever again. Cross my heart, sweetheart. I won't ever ask you to go to a harbor list ever again. You're allowed to swear an oath to that too. Ah, uh, harbor. Brother, I'm so tired. I feel humiliated all the time. Sometimes I feel he's not my father. Dapo, calm down. You just need to understand him, that's all. No, no, no. He needs to understand me. I do what every other people do and get blamed for it. <laughs> and when others do it, nothing is said. A good example would be when you were arrested at a weed smoking joint along with other criminals, right? No, I'm not talking about that. So, 
I, I, I mean other things. Like, listen, like, what I'm saying is, just try to understand that, okay? That's all. Man, mm. I can't wait to leave this house for camp. Really? And then when you're done with service, you head where? Anyway, concerning your pocket money that was slashed, I will give you the 50% every month. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Mind you, mind you, Dagbo. If I get any negative gist, I'll withdraw my support instantly. So be careful. I'll be very careful. All right then. Why don't you go get your food? before you die of starvation. <laughs> ah, the Lord has finally shown me my husband. Where? Upon Mount Zion. I'm serious. I expect you to be happy with me. Don't mind IJ. You know she can be very cynical. I'm happy for you and I want to know who God showed you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so for the past one week, I've been fasting and doing deliverance sessions in church. It ended yesterday, and at the vigil, I took a quick nap. And I saw in my dream, brought David, <laughs> the choir leader in church. In that dream, he saw me struggling from afar to lift a package from the floor. And he came around and lifted it at once. And then we walked hand in hand together into a beautiful house. The Lord is good. <laughs> hmm. Are you sure you're not seeing demons? Don't mind her, continue. <laughs> okay, then, then I woke okay. and I prayed and I, and, and, and I told God, to send me a confirmation for this dream, a sign that would make me believe that he is the one. Then after the prayer, I looked up, and lo and behold, Brother David was standing right in front of me. He asked for my number and my name. That would be the first time he would ever speak to me since I said attending that church. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> no. <sighs> Not again. <sighs> Another victim is born. Can't you guys see that bro David is a super womanizer? Huh? Well, I shall be here when the theme starts. Please. I'm hungry. I feel like I've not eaten in a long time after your story. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I've advised you, and since you say you are going to swear to an oath, no problem. No, but we are doing it because of love. We agreed to it before coming here, didn't we, darling? Yes, uh, we love each other. We love so each other, is that of what we're doing it? Mm. And is that why uh, you want to swear to an oath? We're doing it out of love, Baba. In fact, it is the height of love. Can we get down to it? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. This color knot is a sacred one. And once you take it, <laughs> it is sealed. And nobody can ever open it. 
Hmm? It is sealed. Uh, can we have the color not? Look, apart from that, let me tell you, I have to sound some notes of warning. Listen, you cannot do anything outside the union once you are bind together. If you do, you're all mad. We're ready. You have agreed. Mm -hmm. And not even uh, only that. You must not have any love affair with any other person. If you do, it is death and it is irreversible. Uh, and Baba, this is getting out of hand. So are you saying that I cannot even uh, tell my friends or even my family member that I love them? No, you can have your family members, no? You can, <laughs> but blood family members. Out of that, madness. Eh, hey, Baba, if that is all, can we have the color on? Well, um, no problem. Now you go home and think about it. Tomorrow you come back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Baba. Uh, this thing, I thought it was something instant. It's uh. being unusually long. <laughs> you see, that is the way we do it. Is it not a love affair? It is a love matter. It is. Uh -huh. So what we do is, you listen to it, you go home, think about it, Come back the second day, and then everything is set. That's all. Uh, thank you, Baba. Mm. We'll come back tomorrow, dear. Let's go. Be simple. Okay. <laughs> simple. <laughs> simple. Oh. I'm not sure. Love, Uka. Love, Etin. Ah. Uh -huh. Even if they loved each other, at, would they be swearing to or not? If really they loved each other. Mambi a good job. Daddy Joe. Will be the blue as you. Daddy Jack, Mambi a quag, go be a quag, go be a new bluesle. Oh, go be a new bluesle. If you follow your cushion, well, well, could never buy so dear delivery. What if I find a side jay? Sit him by one of your lady. My bow no jar lemo. Birthdays in two days. Yeah. And our preparations are not solid enough yet. We plan using it all and we have not paid for it. And we have not sorted things out. Well, I don't know. Do you have to pay for a hall when you can use the house? I'll just be in the penthouse. Or better still, I could just go to Abuja for the period. No, Dad, don't travel. And you have not given me the money. Some of my fine friends are coming, and I want you to see my friends. Mm. Yes. Is that one they call Dara coming? Who? Dara now, the one that, that we took to his room. Good. My friends are around now. Mm. We need to start preparing for the bash. Is he coming? Hello. Actually. How are you? <laughs> Is she coming to the party? Yes, I'm coming. That's uh, uh, nonsense. Um, let me see. Okay, you, yeah. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, I'm going to be preparing, and if it's not enough, you let me know. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, lady, how much will I do this? Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, how are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Mm -hmm. What are you studying? Sociology, sir. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I love brilliant girls. Yes. Yes. Ah. Okay. You will give me your number so we can, you know, hang out and discuss sociology one of these days. Oh, you think I'm too old for you? <laughs> eh? No, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Give me your number. Is, is it right, sir? Mm. Good afternoon, sir. 
Uh-huh. You are giving me your number. Hmm? Two, three. Mm-hmm. Four, five, zero. Yes. Five, four, five. Five, four, five. Okay. That's good. We will discuss sociology. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. Get your groove on. Get your freak on. Get your groove on. Get your freak on. Got to get your groove back, yeah. Get your groove on. Get your freak on. Get your groove on. Get your freak on. Got to get your groove back, yeah. Get your groove on. Get your freak on. Godwin. Godwin. What is it? Godi. Yes. What is wrong? What happened? <laughs> what is what is wrong? What happened? Did, did I say anything? Uh, why are you now brooding all of a sudden? First it was something is wrong with me. Now I am brooding. Let's go home. Wait. Is it about this old thing? I think you're taking this thing too far. Just as I have said, if we don't get to swear this oath, I will never have a peace of mind. Oh, God. What is this? What could have possibly happened within the space of two minutes. Who was that man I saw staring at you? Which man? Exactly. Exactly. You're denying it. You're denying it. Don't tempt me any further. You may not like the outcome of my reaction. I'm there's, telling you. there's no new outcome. The worst is you will tell me to go pack my things and leave. You haven't even told me the real reason behind this old swearing exercise. It's beyond whatever it is you have narrated to me. What is wrong with you? What is your problem with this whole thing? What is wrong with me? It's either you took the oath 